What's going on guys, it's Juan All Day here, back with another YouTube video. And today, we're going to be talking about the NBA season so far. So, um, basically, I'm just going to talk about each team, uh, most surprising, most surprised player, and all that fun jazz. So I think I'm going to start with a... Mm, I'll start with the Eastern Conference from the bottom. Yeah, why not? So, so far, the Pistons are 0-3. Not too much to say just because Kate Cunningham isn't playing. And, you know, if they had Kate Cunningham, I think they would have a win. Um, I really want to see Kate Cunningham. So, but, um, he has an injury. I think he'll be back in like a week or two. But, I mean, yeah. So far, their best player has been, like, I don't know. I haven't even really seen Kelly Olynyk, I guess, in that first game. This game is Sadiq Bay. How is... Eh. Yeah, overall, I think it's been, like, Sadiq Bay that's been their best player. I don't know. Um, I haven't watched Princeton's game yet. Next, we have the Indiana Pacers. So... I mean, so far they're one and three, which is not great. But their first two games, that's preseason. Um, they lost by one. So it can't. It's not. Yeah, it's tough. Um, because they could have been three and one instead of one and three. Let's say just made like a free throw or two. Um, you know they. Lost to the Hornets, okay. Wizards, and then the Heat, yeah. And then, or no, they won to the Heat, okay. Um, and then they lost to the Bucks, and right now they're playing a game, so. Yeah. Um, next we have the Orlando Magic. Oh, yeah. Um, by the way, uh, their rookie, Chris Duarte, I think his name is, uh, he's been playing very good. And I would not be surprised if he gets an all-rookie first team. Um, he's NBA ready for sure. I don't know that. Um, next we have the Orlando Magic. So, 1-3. and three, I mean, not too much to say just because it's the Magic and they're rebuilding right now. All these teams are pretty much rebuilding. The Pacers just really aren't. But, yeah. Um, like, y you can't. I mean, currently, they're up to the Hornets, so. I mean, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, but again, it's just the like they lost 26 to the Spurs. I thought that game they'd only lose by like five, to be honest. But I guess it was just a blowout. Um, the Raptors are up next. Um, and honestly, I think I'm only going to do the Eastern Conference because we're already three minutes into this video. So I'll do the Western Conference another day. So yeah. The Raptors, 1-3 and three so far, um, they lost to the Bulls, that was pretty close, they blew out the Celtics, um, they beat, or no, they lost to the Wizards, lost to Mavericks, and currently they're playing against the Pacers, um, Siakam's not playing, that's all I could say, I guess, um, they might get like the 10th seed or something. Um, the 76ers are 2-2, two two. obviously no Ben Simmons, it's Joel Embiid's team now, and, uh, they lost to the Knicks, um, they lost to the uh, Nets here, Nets and Knicks, um, James Harden has not been good, I'm just gonna say that, um, not been knocking down his shots, uh, and he just doesn't look good, um, some people are saying he's washed, but, He's not washed, I'll just say. The two and two so far, not great. But not 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 horrible like going through. But next is the Boston Celtics. Um two and two they lost to the Raptors bad. That was really weird. Um Joan Brown, this is a game where he had uh yeah, forty six points. Yeah. If he's doing if he averages like twenty seven a game then yeah um 
Although Jason Tatum didn't have a good game. Um, apparently they're playing the Wizards. I think they could win this game, maybe. Um, you know. Um, next, the Cleveland Cavaliers had two and two. Um, it's probably two and two is not too bad, Cavaliers fans. Like, if they get a ten seed or nine seed in the plan, then I'd be happy if I was a Cavs fan. Like. You got Evan Mobley, he's a rookie. He could win Rookie of the Year and all that. Um, I don't be too surprised if he won it, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess a lot of people wouldn't be too surprised, but yeah. <laughs> the Nets, yeah, they need Kyrie. Um, Kyrie needs to get the vaccine. I don't know what he's doing. He's, yeah. Like, I think I'd have the Nets and the championship if Kyrie was playing. So, yeah. Hopefully Kyrie gets that vaccine, but I don't know. So far they're two and two. Eh. Hawks are two and one, um, as a seven seed currently. They're playing the Pelicans right now. I mean they're down. I'm gonna show his three points here for some reason. That's weird. Um and uh, yeah, um I had the Hawks win that game, but we'll see. Um, so, so far, Cam Reddish has looked good, so that's good. Um, the Wizards, hey, um, Bradley Bill hasn't been looking that good so far, but Spencer Dinwiddie with him, Montrose Harrell, Davis Caldwell Pope, Kyle Kuzma, just a lot of new guys over there. I haven't been too bad. Um, so far they're two and one. They're currently point, I think. Yeah, against the Celtics. Yeah, just yeah. Um Whoops. Next the Heat two and one. Um They got blown out by the um oh wait. I thought that was one thirty seven ninety five there, like the Bucks blew them out, but no, I forgot I forgot this happened, man. That's kind of weird. Um, okay. Oh yeah, Tyler, Tyler Hero can win like most improver six man. If he's averaging like thir 30, but he probably won't. But yeah. Um, he's looked really good um, so far. The Bucks 3 and 1, obviously that, <laughs> that he lost. Um, well, besides them, like Brooke Lopez is out, Drew Holiday is out, so they can't really do anything. Well, they can, but. They're not as good as, you know, they're normally at without Brooke Lopez. Next, one of the surprise teams, Charlotte Hornets. Um, and Miles Bridges, what is he doing in this game? 10 points in 10 minutes? That's not too bad. Miles Bridges has looked very good. Um, and he's averaging like 25 points per game. He's not going to keep that up, but if he, if he can average like 18 or 20 this year even. and you know he could be pretty good um I really like, like when I was pretty just one of my favorite players next the New York and Knicks so they have been better than last year they're better you know Kemba Walker on a two year 18 million or whatever that was a steal and you know I wouldn't be too surprised if they made like the second round um <clears throat> Next, there's three teams undefeated currently. Um, 3-0, 4-0. The Jazz, Warriors, and Bulls. But Bulls 4-0. They play tomorrow against the Knicks. Okay, okay. But the Bulls have looked really good with their big big four. Lonzo, Zach Levine, Cole Uchevich, and um, Lonzo, Zach Levine, Uchevich, and DeRozan. They've all four of them have looked good. You know, Caruso, those are all good pickups. Oh, at least Lonzo and Uchevich and Uchevich. Lonzo, DeRozan, and Caruso, not Uchevich. You, well, I guess you could say Uchevich, just because it was only. It was at the trade deadline, so it really wasn't that long ago. Um, we'll see how much games they can win. They play against the Knicks, so it's a bit tougher, but. I think they could still win that game, 
I mean, <clears throat> no, it's the Jazz. So, my Jazz will win, I could say that. That's what I'm going to say. Um, but, uh, that won't be a fun game. I, I want to see the Bulls. I haven't, I haven't been on TV or anything. But, um, you know, the most surprising part so far has been Miles Bridges. And the most surprising team has been the Charlotte Lawrence. Obviously, they have to do with both the same team, but we will do the Western Conference next video. Um, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below, um, and all of that jazz. So, see you next video.